All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Bing Ads negative keywords. So exactly how to add negative keywords and how to use negative keyword lists in Bing Ads. So when you're running a Bing Ads search campaign, you can see right here, we have our all campaigns. We opened up one of our campaigns right here and all you need to do to find the negative keywords that you've already added is click on the keywords tab right here in Bing Ads and then come over here and click on negative keywords. So that will show any of the negative keywords that you've added. And then you can also look at negative keyword lists over here as well. So if you have any campaign level negative keyword lists, it'll show up right here. So these will actually import if you do import your campaign directly from Google ads. So if you're importing your campaign, it will keep this negative keyword list up to date as you add negative keywords in Google ads as well. So I'll go over that a little bit later in the video. Now this is also Microsoft advertising negative keywords. So they recently undergone a rebrand. So if you're not familiar with that, Bing ads is now Microsoft advertising. I'm still gonna refer to it as Bing ads for the time being until basically everyone kind of starts referring to it as Microsoft advertising. So we're gonna come over here and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our search terms report. So this is where you can find ideas for negative keywords. And what you want to do is if it's your first time adding negative keywords, just look at all of the data that you have. So just use the entire time here and click right here and that will show every single search term that people have used to actually trigger your advertisements, which will help you find negative keyword ideas. Now, if you're doing this on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, you can always look at the last 30 days, the last seven days, you can look at last month, this month. So you can change the time period if you're consistently adding negative keywords. But if it's your first time, just look at all of the data possible. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna add some negative keywords. So if we scroll down here a little bit, we can see all of our search terms and you can actually rank it by spend, clicks, impressions, average cost per click. You can see conversions over here as well. So you can rank it by all of these different things. And if you click on conversions, it'll show you the actual keywords that have converted. So that will make sure that you're not adding some of those keywords as negative keywords. But what I like to do personally is either look at clicks, spend, or impressions. So all three of those will help you kind of get a guide of some of the negative keywords you can add. Some search terms with a lot of impressions that don't have a lot of clicks might be dragging down your click-through rate. It might mean that it's just an unrelated search that your ads are showing for. So if we start with impressions here, it'll show it by the top impressions for specific search terms and the actual keyword that it's triggering. So we're gonna scroll over here and we're gonna stay over here for right now and you can see the search terms. So these are some of the different search terms that have been showing up and we can quickly add them as negative keywords if we want to. So if I scroll down here a little bit, here's one example, Dr. Ho back brace. So if someone's looking for that specifically, what I can do is click right here. We can add it as a negative keyword. And maybe what I wanna do is just add Dr. Ho as a negative keyword right here and do it to the campaign level. We'll do a phrase match negative keyword. So you can either do phrase match or exact match in Bing ads. So phrase, anytime someone types this in, it won't show for my ads at all. If I do exact, then it will only be for this exact search term. So if you're using phrase, it will cover the exact search term as well. So I generally just use phrase match keywords. There are some examples where you might wanna use exact match keywords, but I usually use just phrase match negative keywords. We can add it to the campaign level of each keyword. You could either do ad group level or campaign level negative keywords, and we can click on apply. So it's really that simple to find and add negative keywords. And basically what you want to do is make sure that you're removing search terms that are unrelated to the products that you're selling or that are going to drag down your conversion rate and end up costing you more money in the long run. So all you need to do is come to this keywords tab right here, get a certain amount of data by going to the dates right here up in the top right corner, and then click on search terms and you can start adding some negative keywords here. So if we keep scrolling down, you can see there's a couple brand names here. So copper fit, back support brace, Aspen back brace. So a couple of those right here, maybe I just don't wanna show up for other brands. I really just wanna focus on the brand I'm working with. So you can add two at a time right here. So you can see right here, copper fit back support brace, copper fit back support brace. So a couple different search terms that are triggering my advertisements. I wanna get rid of copper fit and Aspen. Anytime someone types those in, so we'll add them as negative keywords. We'll do the phrase match. I'll just do copper fit. So in case someone does copper fit back brace or Aspen back support brace, different types of keywords. I just wanna exclude it at the campaign level. Anytime someone types in either of these brand names, we click on apply and it's gonna add those negative keywords to our negative keyword list. So if we come over here, we click on negative keywords for right now. 
what you can see is we have the three that we just added. So these are phrase match negative keywords added at the campaign level. A couple different things that we've already added, Amazon. So anybody who's looking specifically for Amazon, we'll just get rid of that. What do you call? So maybe some things where people are asking questions like how do you use back braces? What do you call back support braces? Different types of things like that where I really want to focus on people that are specifically looking for a back support brace. So if we scroll down here a little bit, you can see Walmart, Magnetic, Copper. Now don't worry about adding doubles. You can add doubles as well. If I add Copper Fit again, it's just going to overwrite it right here. So no matter what, you want to make sure you're adding these negative keywords if you're seeing them in your search terms report. So that's how you add negative keywords. Some best practices is to look at your search terms and look by spend, clicks, and impressions. So if we look at spend here, we can see which search terms are costing the most money in our campaign. And if you start to see some things stand out that aren't driving conversions, you wanna add those as negative keywords as well. So the next thing that you can do is you can actually manage your negative keyword lists and add them to multiple campaigns. So what you wanna do is you wanna to come to shared library here you want to click on view campaign negative keywords and it will show any of the negative keyword lists that you've created already. So this is the one that I've created negative keyword lists as PPC surfside PPC. So if I click on it, it will show all of the negative keywords in this list. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, it will also show any of the campaigns that are using this list. So it's using it for our existing search campaign. What you can do here is click on add campaigns and you can add it to an existing campaign that simply click on save. So if you're running multiple search campaigns, you can easily add it, which is great for quickly optimizing a search campaign. So we're going to get rid of that for now. We're just going to click on cancel. So the other thing that you can do, the last but not least here is as you add negative keywords, what you can do is come over to your campaign. So we're going to click on campaigns again. We're going to come right here. So we're going to click on keywords. We're going to click on search terms. So as you add some negative keywords in here, what you're going to see is negative keywords. So what you can do is click on export and that will download a file of all of these negative keywords here. And just to keep things really organized, you can open that file just like this. So you're going to take all the keywords right here. You're going to copy them. And then what you can do is come over to your negative keyword list, open your negative keyword list right here and just add it directly to it so that you keep everything in your negative keyword list. So we can add negative keywords. Just enter it just like this, click on save, and it's going to enter all of them as phrase match negative keywords directly to your Bing ads keyword list. And to keep things even more organized, you can also do this with Google ads as well. So open up your Google ads account. We have our negative keyword list open here. So if you're running Google ads, all you need to do is click on tools and go to shared library and you're going to see negative keyword lists right here. You can click on it, open your negative keyword list. You can add these negative keywords right here. So copy them, paste them. Now negative keyword match types are a little bit different in Google ads. If you're looking for a little bit more detail, you can find it here. So we have Google ads, negative keywords for search and display campaigns and negative keyword lists for 2019. I'll put this link in the video description for this video. So if you're interested in more about negative keywords, so we're going to add these here, any of the ones that have more than one word, I'm going to add as phrase match negative keywords. So we just add the quotes around it just like that. And then we're going to click on save. We can add this here, keep everything really organized. So as you're optimizing your Bing ads campaign, as you're optimizing your Google ads campaign, you want to make sure you keep things as organized as possible. So both the campaigns are both running the best as they possibly can. So, that's negative keywords in Bing ads. Pretty simple. You go to the keywords tab. You use the search terms report to find ideas for negative keywords. You can create a negative keyword list by going to your shared library. So under shared library here, campaign negative keywords, just create a list. You can apply it to multiple campaigns or just one campaign. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.